Hey everybody, Kurt at Electronic Solutions again. Today I wanted to go over the solenoids on the machine. This would be your forward reverse solenoid or if you just had a single one that would be uh, your ver reverse solenoid. Uh, you could have another one located somewhere else that would be your dump valve but this is just going to show you roughly how to test this coil. Inside of here is a winding of copper wire. It's usually enamel or lacquer plated. And uh, these metal ones are pretty decent, but some of the plastic ones, if you uh, over tighten this nut, you'll crush it and then it'll short out in there. This one here shows a reading of 4.8 ohms on my meter. And I just put my geeter clips right across the two probes, right across here. Now, what I did notice. This one, if you can see it, in the text, it says 12 volts at 2.5 amps. So uh, the maximum current this thing should draw is 2.5 amps. As it heats up, it's going to draw a little more current. So there's an inrush current, too, of turning on. It's going to draw a little bit more. So today what we're going to go over is we went over the ohms test. We went over the amps test and then you can do an on machine test. On machine test is where you've got the engine running and then what you do is take a set of gator clips like this and manually turn on, turn off the solenoid to check your function. All you need is a simple car battery and I have gator clips hooked up to this to really crude just to show you how to test it. So uh, when in doubt, check it with an ohm meter, check it with an amp test, put an inline amp meter in line with it. Should only draw 2.5 amps. Check it on the machine side. If you got any questions, give me a call. I'll be glad to help you. Thanks. See ya.